Hi guys, I'm Soumya and I'm back again with another video. I hope you're all well and safe. I make a lot of bookish content on my channel and if you like reading and if you like books then you should definitely hit that subscribe button. So in today's video I'm going to talk about 10 ways in which I take care of my books. So I get a lot of comments about this because I have a lot of books and I do need to take care of them. So let's get started. Also do not forget to sound off in the comments about how you take care of your books. I will really look forward to your comments. So I'll start with the very basic thing that I do. I clean my bookshelves fairly regularly. I try to clean my bookshelves every week or every 10 days. And there are people who clean their bookshelves every fortnight. I mean one has to because I cannot really afford my books catching dust because there are a lot of these books. So I take my books out, I clean the shelf and I put my books back and that goes for every shelf that you are able to see and the ones that you're not able to see. It's quite a tiring thing to do but I have to do it if I don't want my books catching dust. Whenever I'm reading a book and if that book is a hardcover book and if it has a book jacket and if I know that it's going to take me some time to get through that book then I take the book jacket off because the book jacket is not made of cardboard unlike the cover of the hardcover so if I open and close the book which I will invariably because I'm reading it the book jacket will get spoiled the edges will get folded it would be like destroying the beauty of the book jacket so I keep it away so my next point is about paper bags. So some paper bags have like really thin covers unfortunately and you know that if you are going to read that book the cover will definitely get folded and it's going to get spoiled and it might even get torn up. So to stop that from happening what I do is I cover that paper bag with my calendars, my old calendars. The next point is that you need to protect your books from moisture. Every book lover should take this very seriously. Especially if you're starting to build a collection of books, make sure that right from the start, you store your books in a dry area or a dry room inside your house. There are rooms that share a wall with the bathroom or there are certain rooms that are towards the end of the house so they don't get sunlight. So these kind of rooms are damp. So don't store your books in these rooms. In my own case, all my books are in this room, in these bookshelves. And this room doesn't share any wall with the bathroom. And also there's a window right there. So there's sunlight as well. The next thing to do is to protect your books from silverfish. So silverfish is an insect. And if you want to know about it, you can Google it. But for the purpose of this video, I want to tell you that silverfish eats pages of books. And silverfish comes from moisture as well. So keep that in mind. Next up is that I handle my books gently. It's not like that I fold them up like this where the binding can break because that is horrible and that is horrifying and I try to avoid that at all costs. Okay, so my next point might be something that some of the people might not agree with and I believe that everybody has their personal choice. So I personally never write in my books with pens. Whenever I do find something that I like and if it catches my interest what I do is I underline very lightly with the pencil or I use tabs but I don't write in my books with pens but this is my personal choice because I have seen a lot of people who are totally okay with writing in their books with pens and that's their choice. Next one is pretty basic. I do not dog ear the pages of any book to mark the place in the book. I just simply remember the page number. It's just something that I do and that's it. So the next point is about when I move around with my book, when I travel. So I always have a book with me because I'm always reading something mostly if things are normal. So what I do is while traveling, I keep my book in a separate compartment in the back so that water doesn't spill on it or maybe it doesn't get crammed with other things and it, the pages don't get folded or something of that sort. You know, I avoid that so that whenever I take my book out of my bag, it's in perfect condition. Finally, I try to make sure that my books don't get any food stains and I have succeeded so far because to me it's just unacceptable and not the kind of situation that I want to be in. So that's it. These are the 10 things that I do to take care of my books. I hope you liked this video and found it useful. If you want to connect with me on my social media, the links are in the description box. I'll see you in my next video. Till then, bye-bye, take care and stay safe.